Hi everybody, this is Russell. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be working on creating a turntable animation in Blender, as well as turning that turntable animation into a GIF using GIMP. Uh, GIMP is a free image editing software that has many of the features of Photoshop. Uh, it's the software of choice I'll be using today, so if you want to follow along in the second part of the video, I'd say give it a go. Okay, so jumping over to Blender, uh, we're going to start with selecting our camera and then pressing Alt-G and Alt-R. This is just going to clear out, as you can see on the right-hand side, some of the transform properties. Then we're going to go Shift-A and we're going to add in an empty plane axis for me. And this is just going to be at the 3D cursor, which is at the origin. And I'm going to rename it camera focus point. This is going to be where the camera focuses on as it turns. Okay, so now I'm just going to top view. And I'm going to shift A and add a circle. I'm going to up the vertices to 128. This makes it a little bit smoother. I've had trouble with... Uh, some jitteriness if there's not enough vertices. Okay, just expanding out. This is the pathway that the camera is going to follow. And then I'm just pressing F3, typing convert and converting to a curve. You could just shift A, go to curve and select Bezier circle if you wanted to just expedite the process as well. It's probably what I should have done. Select the camera and then select the camera curve and then type control P and then follow path. Next you're going to select the camera and then go over to the object constraints tab on the right, add object constraint track 2. In the target menu you can select the camera focus point empty that we created earlier and then change the to field to negative Z and then the up to Y. Next I'm going down to the bottom timeline there and changing the end frame to 120. That'll be about five seconds at 24 frames per second. Okay, so now we're just selecting the camera track curve and going to the curve properties there on the right and then down to path animation. And then we're going to change that to 120 frames to match our timeline that we changed earlier. Okay, so the camera is not quite pointed in the way that we want it. To fix that, you can just select the camera focus point over on the right, and then press G and Z, and pull it until your object is in frame. So if it's a little bit too close like this, you can select your camera track and press S to scale. If you go down to the bottom playback, press play, you can see, there you have it, the animation. So that's the first part. If you wanted to turn it into a GIF uh, in GIMP, you're going to go over the render properties on the right. And the defaults work, you can change the location that the PNG files will save to. PNG is recommended for quality purposes. And then once you're ready, you can go up to the top left and select render animation. Okay, so that's just gonna start rendering it's going to render each frame as a separate PNG file in the folder of your choice. So when you go to the file folder, in this case it was just the temp folder on my C drive, you're going to see each frame has been rendered out as a separate PNG. Over in GIMP you're going to go File, Open as Layers, and in this case I want the animation to start, as you can see in the thumbnail there on the right, I want it to start at this point, so frame 50. So I select frame 50 and then shift to the end, 120, 
and it will open all of the PNG files in that order. And then I do it again, file open as layers, and then I select the rest. So basically 1 to 49. So once you have all the PNG files open, if you want to resize, um, you can go to the image canvas size, change the width here in, in my case, and then using the center button to make it a nice square. This image is probably a little bit big. I want the file size to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to I'm going to cut the image size in half to 540 by 540. Okay, so when you're ready, you can go File, Export As. And then here on the file name extension, make sure you type dot gif and export and then here you're going to want to make sure that you have as animation selected you can also play with the delay between the frames I'm just going to keep it at 100 milliseconds that's default So if you go to the folder location where you saved it, you should see the GIF right there. So that's it, guys. Turntable animation turned into a GIF. I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.